Hello everyone, this is Triskadeka presenting a brand new Minecraft world. As you can see, this is a brand new Minecraft world which will be running off of the Hetic launcher. Uh, it's a pretty basic pack compared to a lot of the others. It does have a few things such as Tinker's Construct, but a lot of what this one is based on is more so adventuring rather than building up your place. We are going to try to set things up in this little series, making a full-fledged base, possibly village even. We'll try to find somewhere that seems like a good start, and we'll just build out from there, seeing what we like, how far we can get, and possibly checking out what new adventures we can have. One of the basic things I'm actually going to start with right here is the sword. And the reason for that is, well, I saw the little pyramid in the distance, and I want to check it out. Before we go through even setting up anything, as you can see, it adds different animals in, such as these rhinos. Are you angry at me? I think he's angry. Yeah, he's angry. Get away. And I just killed a rhino with a wooden sword. Imagine that. A rhino head. Can I do anything with that? Huh. So, one of the things being, luckily, since we have too many items, if I hit R on something, it will show me what all can be made with it. It's going to be very useful since I don't know everything that's in here. I don't even know what the rhino head is for. I'm guessing it's probably just something of a statue. Where is that? I have a large heart. Okay. Cool. We're going to check inside of this little pyramid. appears to be set up like a little maze. That's pretty neat. So, let's see if we can explore a little bit in here. I may actually want to get a... Oh, okay. Hmm. Let's take out a crafting table and make a pickaxe. Because I'm going to try to check underneath of that. Unlike our island, I did not make it as a survival. I mean, a uh, hardcore. So, if we die, we will be able to start over again, which is actually going to be very, very nice in comparison. Uh, or toward. And we're going to be able to actually explore, build further, I'll find out really what I want to do in this place. Get a shovel. on the other side of us. I can hear something around here, but I don't know what that is. What's down this way? Like, I don't know what these sounds are. Okay, and I can't see Jack down there. So let's, uh, do this. And nick a torch. just leading in circles. Another lava pit. I'm wondering if those actually end up leading to somewhere specific or if they're just going to lead to lava pits over and over again. I've actually always found real life pyramids kind of interesting. I used to look at designs of them. Oh god, I'm lost. Let's turn up the uh, lights, lighting a little bit if I can. Okay, there we go. I can see a bit more. 
But I've always found pyramids to be quite interesting. I've looked at it. What the hell? It's an armadillo. Die. Okay. Were you the thing that was making all the weird noises? I don't know. I don't know why an armadillo was in a pyramid. That's lovely. But as I was saying, they actually have a lot of different crypts, tombs, and some of the traps that were originally made were quite interesting. Uh, poisonous, gas, um, pitfalls, things of that. All of the stuff that was made in order to keep burglars from actually getting in. Ooh, I have a tusk. Can I do anything with the tusk? Let's see. Not Tursk. Tusk. Stop with the Tursk. Tusk. Oop. Did not mean or realize that I had that on. Okay. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Right. Gotta be careful with that. So right now we're just going to try to survey a bit, find some places that we like, explore our surroundings. With a lot of the hectic, I remember playing this a while back. Ooh, a village is going to be a very good start. We're going to have basic houses, full crops, place that we can set up. Pretty much this is going to keep us completely set for a while. And I suppose this will be our base of operations. We have lots of different villagers. Cook fish for emeralds, so that'll be nice. Uh, emeralds for chicken. Cook fish for emeralds. Emeralds for melons. Emeralds for arrows. Nothing in the furnace. Let's see anything in the treasure chest? Ooh, we have some iron, a sword, a pickaxe, and a sapling. We are pretty much to start already. Um, I suppose this will be our home. So luckily that did. That actually set us up quite a bit. Um, not too much more to say. We can look. Hopefully if I'm lucky they'll even have a tinker's construct area. A smeltery. We have one trap down here. We'll free this guy. Let him run free. Flint, oh, gravel. Very nice. Let's see what's back here. More village. It's amazing how it just immediately goes from desert to complete grasslands. So with this, we're actually, ooh, look, floating island. We're going to be able to properly set up an area. I'm not even sure what biome this actually is. Um, a meadow. So we'll have a nice area where we can get trees. We can have our village set up for protection. I'm actually going to try to get some food real quick. I just noticed that we're kind of starving. Not always a good way to start. Let's see. We'll have there. Always replant. Kind of one of the basics. Where are you guys? Pistons for iron ore. Hmm. Pistons for aluminum. Books for emeralds. Emeralds for arrows. Emeralds for melons. Bread. Yeah, it seems like we're going to have a lot of stuff available. Ooh, even a dimensional door. Uh, we'll actually go check that out real quick, too. Mm, let's see. Do I have... I do not have a crafting bench anymore. I don't... Oh, I left it back in the pyramid, didn't I? Hmm. What a shame. Um, we're actually going to check out this dimensional door after I make a crafting bench. Is there one in here? 
This is actually a proper house, isn't it? Uh, where's your entrance? There's your entrance. Coming on in. One, two, three. This will keep us from starving. Wow, it even has a few things set up. This is very nice, actually. Cactus paquette axe, bone findings, lots of patterns. Shame we don't have a bed around here, though. I want to try to keep these guys as safe as possible. Is this full wool or just carpet? This is full wool. We will just nick a bit of the house. We'll repair it later. For now, this will be fairly good, actually. Uh, make a quick bed. Because I don't want these guys being attacked by zombies. Rest up for the night. There we go. So we kept some monsters from spawning. We have a nice little house. Uh, see if we can get any more wheat. Yes. A bit more there. Anything in the back here? Ooh, full grown carrots. Those will be nice. Can we plant a bit? Carrots. Very tasty. Very, very useful. And it's nice that I don't have to expend more resources, you know, coal, anything like that. So, let's see about checking out this area. Gushel greens! We'll even be able to get Chocobo, hopefully. So with these, these are the Dimensional Doors mod. With this, it leads to a pocket dimension. They can be a lot of fun. You can get a lot of different rewards in here. Um, it's going to be extremely useful. Actually, I just noticed we have our sheep over there, too. So, it looks like in the first episode, we really did get extremely lucky. I did not expect to spawn this close to anything. Um, we have a village, we have lots of food, we have a couple places to explore, there is that. So well over there, something in the distance over there. Um, the sky area, we'll definitely be able to check all of that out in the next episode. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Chiskadaka with our brand new world, hopefully th hoping that we will be able to expand it even further. Thanks for joining me.